everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this matchbox. Um, I created this to fit my Julie Netting dolls, and also I designed it to where you can fit if you're going to put the doll on a Julie Netting tag. And so this is what I made. This is using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I've done a video a while back creating matchboxes with envelope punch board, but this time I made one to fit uh, the Julie Netting dolls. So the paper collection that I used, it's a Recollections paper pad that I picked up at Michael's. It was one of the hot buys. It's the C'est La Vie. And I really loved it because of the poodle on the paper. And it's just a really cute um, Parisian theme paper pad. And so this is the cover. It says You and Me in Paris. I cut this out from the design paper and put some dimensional pop dots underneath. And you can see that cute little poodle down here. And then it has a pull here. So you're going to pull that out. And then inside is the Julie Netting doll. So you can see here I used one of the doll tags, which is the armoire. And then it says, Life is Beautiful. And then the doll that I used is Ruby. So I used Ruby. And then I fussy cut out the Eiffel Tower. I paper pieced her outfit, Copic colored her hair. The flowers are from this Richard Gray Make Amazing Things Happen collection, the Amazing Blooms. I used that dye. Um, I didn't use the stamp, but I used um, the dies. And then I added um, some pearls on the door. And I added design paper on the back because once you cut open the door, I used an X-Acto knife. This part's going to be open, so I put some design paper on the back for the backing. Okay, and then I also designed it to where you can see it's a little bit larger than the tag because if I plan to punch a hole and add some ribbon, I have enough space to put the ribbon up here. And so that is my matchbox. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, let's make the bottom first. And the bottom is going to be 11 by 11. And again, you're going to use the envelope punch board. So this is 11 by 11. Just put some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so what you're going to do first is you're going to line it at 3 inches. You're going to punch and then score. And of course you're going to see that it doesn't score all the way down, but that's okay. Once we flip it to the other side and we score again, the score lines will meet. Okay, and then you're going to scoot it to the 4 inch. Again, punch and then score. And then you're going to flip it over towards the right, like so. Okay, let's do that again. You're going to flip it over. So you see how I did that? I flipped it. Okay. So you're basically getting the other side of this side. So that would be this side. And then you're going to do again three inches. And then score four inches. Punch and then score. Okay, now you're going to turn it over to the other side, which is the other side of this end, which would be this end. Okay, and you're going to line it at three inches, punch, and then score, and then four inches, punch, and then score. And then you're going to flip it again, and you're going to line it at three inches, punch, score. And then you'll see that the score lines meet. So now the line is all completely scored. And then score. Okay? So that's what you're going to get. And then I'm going to move this out. So we don't need the scoreboard anymore. Oh, wait. We've got one more step. Actually, we do need the scoreboard. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your board... And then you're going to see the scored lines right here. You're going to line it with the score guide. So line that score line with the score guide. And you can tell right here, this end right here has to meet with the score line. So just line that up. And then all you're going to do is score. There's no punching involved. And then line it with the other score line. And then you're going to score again. Okay. 
and do that to the other side. So line that scored line, score, and then the other scored line, and then score. Okay? So now you can put the board away. Okay, so now we're going to fold all the score lines that we created. a bone folder here. Oops. Now this um, matchbox is not going to fit the larger doll stamps. It's just, you know, like the mermaid. It's not going to fit those ones. But it was, you know, I mainly designed it to where I could fit the um, Julie Nutting tags. Okay. So just fold all that. Okay. So just like I did with the matchbox in my first video using the punch board, once you fold the two score lines, you're going to fold it one more time. So fold it like that. Do the same thing this side. Okay. And then the same thing with this side. So fold this first scored line, the second scored line, and then fold in again. And one end we're going to punch in the center to create the pool. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast here. Now you're going to see, um, you're going to pick which side you want to be, where it's going to pull. So I'll do this side. And you're going to see this scored line right here. You're going to line that at one and three quarters. So line that score line at one and three quarters and then punch. And then you'll get that so it makes the pull. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to cut the slits on the longer side to create these tabs so we can create the box. Let me just cut those slits. So push in those tabs. And then I'm just going to use my um, ATG gun. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. It's been a while since I used this. I'm always using um, my Fabri-Tac glue. Okay, so just add it to the tabs. And then create the box. So just connect those Oops. okay now these are going to be a little bit longer so what I do is once I kind of tuck this in I just kind of use my nail I just kind of create my own little score line there. You can fold it in. I just cut it. Whichever works for you. And then I'm going to take my ATG again. And then I just add it to the, the end right here. You can 
cover the entire piece with adhesive if you want. And then just press it down. Because I just add a liner on top. So that's why I don't glue it too much. And then I'm just going to cut. Or, you know, it doesn't have to, again, if you're going to put a liner over it, it, it doesn't even have to be exactly to the fold. Whichever works for you to make it easier. We've all made a ton of matchboxes. So let's add it to this one now. And this is where the pole is. And other end. Okay, so again, you can add your liner and Inside. Hold on. Let's see if I can measure it. It was, I think I made it three, I made it three and five eighths wide by um, nine and a quarter. So three and five eighths by nine and a quarter was my liner. So actually, let me cut one. So I have a liner. Sorry, let me get a piece of. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, let me get my trimmer here. So I said three and five eighths by nine and a quarter. Okay, so three and five eighths. By nine and a quarter. I'm just using my Fiskars trimmer. Love this trimmer. And get my box. Make sure that was the correct measurement. Yeah. There you go. That's liner. I'm not gonna glue it down. Make it since I spend a lot of time trimming that. Okay, so that's the box. Now we're gonna make the lid, and then let me get my tag so you can see if it's nicely in the box. Now this is gonna be the cover. This measures nine and three quarters inches wide by nine and a half inches in length. So nine and a half from top to bottom and then from side to side it's nine and three quarters. And again I'll put the measurements down below. So let's get our scoring tool, or, I mean our scoreboard. I want to score that. So we are going to score at three quarters. So three quarters, four and a half, five and a quarter, and then nine inches. All right, put that away. And let's just fold. I'm going to add adhesive. So let's get my ATG gun again. And I'll, I like to put the box in and then add. And then I just go over. 
like so. And there you have it. Perfect. And then you pull. And there's your matchbox. So you can see that. So you can create these for your Julie Denning doll stamps. You can also put the doll on the front of the matchbox if you want. Or you can just leave it in the inside only. Now you'll notice in the matchbox, it's not um, from end to end. In other words, it doesn't line up with the box. It's just a little bit larger than the box on the bottom. Um, so if you don't, if you want it to be exact size as a box, then you could just trim this a little bit. But I like it to be a little bit larger than the box that's inside. Okay, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And thanks so much again for watching. Bye.